standard 11 appendix 1.6 using a vernier caliper the length of the cylinder in different measurements is found to be 2.36 cm 2.27 cm 2.26 cm 2.28 cm 2.31 cm 2.28 cm and 2.29 cm find the mean value absolute error the relative error and the percentage error of the cylinder Okay, we have to find out all the errors here. So, what are the given readings? So, the given readings are two point three six centimeter, two point two seven centimeter, two point two six centimeter, two point two eight centimeter, two point three one centimeter. 2.28 cm and 2.29 cm. Okay. The first one which we have to calculate is the mean value. So, we will go for finding the mean value. So, mean value is equal to, mean value is L bar. L bar is equal to 2.36 plus 2.37 plus 2.26 plus 2.28 plus 2.31 plus 2.28 plus 2.29 divided by how many number of terms? 7 number of terms. So divided by 7. So it is 16.05 divided by 7. So you will get it as 2.29 centimeter. We have found out the mean value. Now we have to go for the absolute error. To find out the absolute error, the formula here you have to use is modulus of delta L1 is equal to L bar minus L1. So, what is it? L bar 2.29 minus 2.36. So, that is 0 0.07. Okay. Similarly, modulus delta L2 is equal to L bar minus L2. So that is 2.29 minus 2.27. It is 0 0.02. L3 is L bar minus L3. So that is 2.29 minus 2.26. That is 0 0.03. So delta L4. L bar minus L4 that is 2.29 minus 2.28 so that is 0 0.01 then L5 delta L5 is L bar minus L5 2.29 minus 2.31 that is 0 0.02 Delta L6 that is L bar minus L6. So that is point sorry 2.29 minus 2.28 that is point zero 0.01. Then delta L7. L7. L bar minus L7 that is 2.29 minus 2.29 that is nothing but what 0 0.00. So we have to find out the mean absolute error. Okay. So mean absolute error that is delta L. Bar. Okay, that is, you have to write all the values and add. What is 0 0.07 plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.01 plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.01 plus 0 0.01 plus what? 0 0.00 divided by, again it is 7. That is 0.16 divided by 7 which you are getting it as 0 0.02. Okay. 
so we have got the mean absolute error the next what you have to calculate is the relative error so the third one is what relative error what is relative error mean absolute error by mean okay so that is delta l by l okay so that is 0 0.02 divided by 2.29 so you will be getting it as 8.7 into 10 raised to minus 3. The next one what you have to find it out is the percentage error. Percentage error is nothing but what relative error into 100%. So what is the relative error 8.7 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 100. So what you will get it here. We will get it so here is 8.7 into 10 raised to minus 1 which can be written as 0.9. So what is the percentage error? 0.9 percentage. So we have calculated all, all the errors. Okay, we first we calculated the mean, then we calculated the mean absolute error, then the relative error and the percentage error.